Welcome to the course Electronic Circuits 1, Unit 4. Today topic is High Frequency Analysis of MOSFET Amplifier. First, we'll see high frequency equivalent of MOSFET. Okay, the MOSFET consists of three terminals, that is source, gate, and a drain. This is the N-channel MOSFET, where the source region is made of N-type material, and drain region is made of, again, N-type material. And this is the channel between the source and the drain, and the body of the transistor, or the substrate of the transistor made of P-type material. Okay, at high frequency equivalent, there exists a small resistance in the source region, that is RS, similarly at the drain region, that is RD, small RD. And also there is a parasitic capacitance between the gate terminal and the source terminal, that is called as CGSP. Similarly, there is a parasitic capacitance between the a gate terminal and a drain terminal, that is CGDP. And also again, the capacitance is that between the uh, gate and source, and again, between the gate and the drain, another capacitance uh, that is CGD. This is the current, uh, okay, between the current that is flowing from the drain terminal to the source terminal, that is GM into VGS dash. Okay, VGS dash means what is the voltage applied in the internal terminals of the uh, gate and source, okay. Uh, the outer terminal is simply VGS, the internal terminal, uh, uh, the voltage between the internal terminal is simply VGS dash because of this resistance this will vary if there is no resistance here and again uh, here, here it is simply vgs okay because it is having some resistance here then here we are getting vgs dash okay now the cgsp and the cgdp are parasitic or overlap capacitance and cgs and the cgd okay is used to represent the interaction between the gate okay gate and uh, channel inversion charge okay, near the source and uh, drain near the source and drain because the channel inversion will be formed here okay that uh, again how much charge is there during the channel inversion that and all are represented by cgs and uh, cgd this is the equivalent circuit for n channel mosfet okay this uh, gate terminal drain terminal and uh, source terminal this vgs is the external voltage applied between the gate and the source terminal this is the internal voltage between the gate and the source terminal it's because uh, of the some drop will be there okay because of this small resistance so uh, and again this is denoted as vgs dash that means uh, out of total vgs some voltage will be here and the remaining rest of the voltage will be here and then CGS is the uh, capacitance uh, between the gate and the source, okay, gate and the source, internal terminal. And CGD is the capacitance between the gate and the drain terminal. GM VGS is the voltage dependent current source, voltage dependent current source. This current depends on the input voltage VGS dash. And again, R0 is there uh, and RD is the drain resistance and again CDS, okay, the a capacitance between the drain and the source. Okay, and again, uh, here the effect of parasitic capacitance are removed. Okay, and again, we can still further modify this uh, equivalent circuit because this is uh, this we have represented in uh, at high frequency because at high frequency we are having this capacitance. At low frequency, the effect of this capacitance we can neglect. Okay, so. Uh, at low frequency, this is a simplified low frequency model that uh, there we can remove CGS as well as CGD. Once if you remove CGS, this is simply like open and again here also it is open. Okay, so VGS dash and again still RS is there. Uh, okay, then this is the GM and VGS dash. And again, uh, if R0 is very, very high, you can remove the effect of this R0 also. And again, the RD value is very, very less so that we can make it as a shard, okay? And again, the effect of this capacitance is also remote, okay, with the open circuit. So CDS is also remote. So we are getting a very simplified model at low frequency, but because if it is at high frequency, there will become some capacitance, but uh, at low frequency, that effect of that uh, capacitance uh, can be removed, okay? Those capacitance are called the device capacitance, okay? They are not the physical capacitance. They are like a device capacitance that effect can be removed at a low frequency. 
okay and again in this diagram this id is exactly equal to gm into vgs dash okay gm into vgs dash and again even we can remove this also because if rs is very very small and again we can make it short here here itself we can put the source okay and then uh, and then our next aim is to find the short circuit current gain of the mosfet okay so during this we'll use high frequency small signal circuit okay short circuit current gain of the mosfet okay at the input side uh, what capacitance will be there uh, cgs will be there okay in between the input and output there will be cgd here there will be the uh, current source voltage dependent current source gm and vgs dash and again here we have uh, we have removed the effect of rs okay and again the output is short circuited because we are finding the short circuit current gain okay so the output is short circuited now this i i is the uh, current entering okay current entering this id is the uh, current entering from this way okay so now we'll apply the nodal equations here finally we'll try to find out the relationship between the i i and the id because finally we need the current gain okay current gain means what sir output current divided by input current output current divided by input current so we can find out what is the current gain okay so uh, we have to make some relationship between the i i and the id so i'll apply the nodal equation here and also here then finally we'll find out the uh, relationship okay so first you apply the nodal equation here once if you apply the nodal equation here say for example what is the voltage of this node okay the voltage of this node is simply vgs okay this node voltage is vgs so i can apply the kcl current entering is equal to current leaving so current entering is ii so what is the current leaving vgs divided by impedance of this capacitance that is 1 by j omega cgs and what is the current leaving here because this vgs is always with respect to ground so that you can go like this come like this and you can reach the ground so once if you choose this path because we do not know what is the voltage here or otherwise now simply the voltage here also zero only because of short circuit or otherwise it is better to choose this path so what is the current going in this way because current entering is equal to current leaving so then this is also vgs divided by 1 by uh, j omega cgd okay so that is the kc at this node okay and okay we can write the kcl okay um, okay and again before applying the kcl here here also we have to write some relationship okay now how this vgs and vgs dash is related because now we are at a low frequency model okay at low frequency model vgs vgs is equal to vgs dash okay vgs dash and this current is simply flowing here because this is like a open circuit so the current is entering here so once if this current enters what is the voltage here simply the product of this one and uh, with this one so this is uh, gm vgs dash vgs dash into rs okay into rs so you can take out that vgs dash outside okay so vgs is equal to vgs dash okay 1 plus gm into rs 1 plus gm into rs now you know the relationship between the vgs and the vgs dash Okay, then what is ID? ID is equal to ID is equal to GM. ID is equal to GM into VGS dash. Now you know VGS dash in terms of VGS. Okay, so VGS dash is equal to uh, and again already GM is there. This will come down one plus GM into RS. Okay, and again this VGS is there. Okay, so you can write like this VGS. And finally this ID is equal to some new GM that is. gm dash okay gm dash into vgs gm dash and vgs so now we have represented the drain current in terms of gm dash that is due to the effect of this rs okay if rs is not there the gm dash is equal to gm uh, it's because of this rs that uh, gm dash is simply modified okay now i will concentrate on the high frequency model okay so in the high frequency model okay we are finding out the short circuit current gain first we will apply the nodal equation here okay kcl kcl at uh, input kcl at input node okay now current entering is equal to current leaving so ii 
is equal to what is the current leaving year okay the current leaving year is vgs vgs divided by 1 by okay 1 by j omega cgs okay then what is the current leaving year because current can come like this so that means again vgs divided by 1 divided by uh, j omega cgd okay j omega cgd okay so once again again you can modify this equation vgs is common and again this j omega cgs comes up again this uh, j omega cd also can come up j omega cgd okay and next similarly you apply the kcl at the output node once if you apply the kcl here at output node okay uh, again uh, the current entering is equal to current leaving if i assume like that current is entering this way entering this way then this is the current leaving then what is the current entering this way because and again this is same as again this is with respect to ground only so what will be the current in this direction that is vgs divided by 1 by j omega cgd is equal to current leaving what is the current leaving here simply uh, gm into vgs okay this, but this is current entering right okay so these two current i will add and then this is equal to going outside okay outside from the node okay i'll write the kcl at this node okay once if you write kcl kcl at the output node okay it's simply vgs divided by 1 by j omega cgd plus id is equal to current leaving that is gm into vgs okay and again uh, this will go up and again id can be written id is equal to vgs gm okay gm minus uh, j omega uh, j omega cgd okay j omega cgd okay this is id and again from this you can write what is vgs okay vgs is equal to vgs is equal to id uh, vgs is equal to id divided by gm j omega cgd j omega cgd and um, and again uh, this id is there gm minus j omega cgd then what is ii okay because uh, we are having another base equation at the input side okay the base equation is ii ii is equal to vgs okay vgs into uh, j omega cgs j omega cgd this vgs you can replace uh, with this equation okay so i'll write that equation say uh, this is equation number 1 if this is equation number 1 uh, this is a uh, equation number a uh, two then substitute the uh, equation two in one okay substitute two in one once if you substitute then ii is equal to id id divided by gm j omega cgd j omega cgs j omega cgd now what is uh, ai ai is equal to current gain is equal to id divided by ii okay id divided by ii then that means this will go up j, j gm minus j omega cgd divided by j omega cgs plus cgd and again once if you take this uh, some realistic value okay suppose if cgd is approximately 10 femto faraday okay then uh, gm gm is equal to 1 milliampere per volt okay then f is equal to 1 gigahertz okay and again once if you substitute this value here this uh, second term will become very very less as compared to the first term so that approximately i can remove the second term so approximately this is equal to gm divided by j omega cgs plus cgd okay this is ai again current gain okay, approximately and again you can take the magnitude okay once if we take the magnitude ai magnitude is equal to gm divided by omega cgs plus cgd okay now uh, what is the uh, unity gain frequency here what is the unity gain frequency okay so again uh, what is the definition unity gain frequency unity gain frequency is the frequency at which the gain is unity okay it is the frequency it is the frequency at which 
frequency at which gain is unity okay so that means uh, here i can put one this side and this is gm divided by okay that particular frequency I'll, i'll call it as omega subscript p because at particular frequency the gain becomes one that frequency we are calling it as a unity gain frequency then this is cgs plus cgd okay then and again once if you make some adjustment you can write in terms of f okay so the f is equal to gm divided by 2 pi cgs and plus cgd okay this is the unity gain frequency for the uh, high frequency mosfet model okay